Fearless time. What is going on, everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today, I wanted to do another tier list. Why is that? Well, tier lists are the most disliked videos on this channel, by the way. And because we are in for, or I'm feeling in the mood for some salt from all the commenters and viewers who go, Andy, you're wrong. My class is the best. All right, all right. So this tier list is not about the damage. I have no idea exactly how much damage these Hyper Awakenings do, but I did watch the video. I'm sure you all watched the videos of the Hyper Awakenings for every class. And so I wanted to rank it based on how visually appealing it is, how beautiful, how amazing, just the, the graphics of it. You know? So here is my tiers. Number one, in the SS rank, the artist Ayaya painted this. In the S, Da Vinci, Leonardo Da Vinci painted this. Next, we got artificial intelligence. Painted this. Yep, they're taking over the artist's jobs. And trigger warning, a certain German dictator painted this. And then finally, I think I'm the worst, so I painted this. With our tier lists, let's get started with Reaper. So Reaper, if you guys don't remember, is the kind of blood moon thing very very cool i was so amazed by it and yeah i'm just straight off the bat i feel like our ayaya painted this it is absolutely beautiful and it almost made me want to make a reaper all right next up we got the soul eater so with soul eater there was those two uh very differing ones but I would say it's kind of eh, like, you know, like this is like whatever. It's a whatever thing. So I guess call them. We'll put it in the middle. An artificial intelligence painted this. Next up, we got Shadow Hunter. So Shadow Hunter was also pretty cool. You know, she gets like this nice claw. She slashes and then the ground starts, you know, pulsating with multiple damage hits. But in terms of visually appealing, I would say it's kind of on par with Soul Eater. Is it better than Soul Eater's though? I don't think so. It's just a red line with some like spikes hanging out. So we're going to put it in the artificial intelligence row. Next up, we got the Aeromancer. So this was the, the last one from the video. And it's the one where either you get the, the toilet bowl. But actually, it's not even a toilet bowl anymore. It's more of like a wave. And then the, the other one is her kind of blinking and giving you a seizure. But it's pretty cool, I would say. You know, like it, it's pretty cool. But did Da Vinci or Ayaya paint this? I don't think so. But I would say that it is... You know, like pretty, pretty high up on the list. Let's let's put it up here for now. So higher than Soul Eater, higher than Shadow Hunter. Moving on to Destroyer. So now we're starting to get somewhere. Destroyer, really, really cool. You summon this big giant that has like a black hole on his chest. Just amazing graphics. So obviously, I'm going to have to put it either in the Aya section or the Da Vinci section, but. Just my opinion, I'm going to put it in the Da Vinci section. But it is pretty high on the list. It's almost there. It is almost there to Ayaya. Anyway, moving on to Gun Lancer. Gun Lancer, if you don't remember, it's very similar to how his current awakening looks like. But the, the visuals and the sounds, especially that sound, the ding, 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 ding. That sound is absolutely amazing. I cannot send this over to our fellow German dictator over here and below. So I have to put it in the artificial section. But it's going to be at the end. Moving on to Berserker. So this is the very first one that we were shown. It was pretty cool. 
I'm not going to lie. It was pretty cool. But it did remind me of Shadowhunter's S skill. It didn't really show us any kind of cool stuff. The second part where he slams his sword with like a red wave kind of thing. That was pretty cool and it felt very powerful. But visually appealing wise, I'm going to have to rank it less than Shadowhunter. But better than Gunlancer. Now, Gunlancer is, is, is amazing. Don't get me wrong. But it is too similar to its current Awakening that I'm going to rank it higher than Gunlancer. Don't sue me, everybody. Moving on to Slayer. So, Slayer was another good one, similar to Destroyer, but I would say not as good as Reaper. So, with that Ragnarok, and especially that second kind of smash that the, the thing does, uh, that sends out like that smoke ring. I'm going to have to rate it as Da Vinci painted this. But is it better than Destroyer? No. I still think Destroyers was way cooler, way more, you know, clear and well thought out. So I'm going to put it there. Gunslinger. Gunslinger. So the, the last part was that delay thing. That was pretty cool in terms of the audio getting cut off. But other than that, visually, it's just eh. But the first part, visually wonderful. It just reminds you of, it's high noon. And then she just shoots you, you know, like it's that Western feeling. So I will say Da Vinci did indeed paint this, but it's going to be in the middle here. Fair enough. I can already feel the salt from all the gunslingers. So pour them all over here, okay? I'm drinking a lot of water right now. Pour that salt over here. Moving on. Artillerist. The, if I remember correctly, Artillerist, you know, they turn into a kind of cyborg, kind of a transformer themselves. It's all right, you know, but it's, it's not visually appealing. It's just cool. I would say it's cool. So it's not going to be in the bottom two sections, but I would say it ranks much higher than pretty much any of these classes here. So I'll rank it at the top of the artificial intelligence section. Moving on. All right, Deadeye. Now we're starting to get towards the bad side of Hyper Awakening. Deadeye disappointed me way too much. Especially the, the cooler animation where it turns into a long sniper. Who cares, man? I would have more preferred something with his shotgun ability, you know? Like, that's his whole identity. Not really a sniper. But anyway, I'm going to rate this at the certain German dictator painted this. I don't think it's too bad, but it isn't good enough. Ooh, okay. Scouter. So off the rip, I painted this. Scouter is definitely something I would paint. Just something really basic. You know, he goes tick, 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 on the freaking computer. Ew. Ew, like, okay, congratulations, you're nerdy and techy. That's it. You know, bye-bye. Let's move on to... Oh, I almost forgot their name. Sorceress. I went S Sorceress. Okay, Sorceress, pretty cool. Both of those awakenings. You can tell they spent a lot of money on animations there. So, I would say... It's not as cool. So I can already think of some that are going to be at the top. I mean, we, we all know what they are. So knowing this, I'm going to put it in the Da Vinci section. But is it better than Destroyer? And for me personally, I am a huge sucker for these like black holes and, and you know, eclipse and just like, you know, outward, outworldly space thingies. So I am going to have to rank it. Above Gunslinger, but less than Destroyer. Salt. Okay. Moving on. Summoner. So Summoner is... What was, it, that was like the Rayquaza for the first one, and then the second part was summoning a big, big boy. It's okay. It's all right. But I wouldn't do it in the top two section. It's going to have to be probably above Artillerist. Because like, it was okay. It was okay. But it's still the middle of the pack. But it's definitely on the higher side of the middle of the pack. So it's going to be there. All right. Before we begin the breaker, I just want to interrupt and say hello. 
if you're enjoying this tier list, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Did you subscribe? Make sure you click on it. All right. Now moving to Breaker. So Breaker has been the most disappointing Hyper Awakening I can ever see in my entire life. This thing goes all the way there in the end. Because this is going to be the worst, by the way. Spoiler alert. Because okay, before in my video, I reacted. I thought it was a, a barrel. He just punches a bell. Congratulations. Not worth my time. Let's move on to Glavier. So Glavier, I actually really like. Very simple, but really, really cool. Because of the horse that she gets onto, like the very smooth transitioning, as well as the sound of the horse and just like the charging aspect of it. Very, very cool. But I'm not going to rate it, you know, higher than any of any of these because of its simplicity. So it does go in the Da Vinci, but in the lower side. All right. Scrapper. Okay. So Scrapper, if you all remember, is that really cool dragon looking thing that she poses in front of. Very, very cool. This is 100% going to be in the artist Ayaya painted this. If you see that animation, you're dead. Call back to my other video. Moving on. Soul Fist. Super, super similar. So, Soul Fist is a Dragon Ball Z reincarnate. You know, the Spirit Bomb, the Kamehameha. Super cool, especially that Spirit Bomb. It just makes you feel like she's getting every single energy, sapping every single energy, and just, just nuking the entire area. This definitely goes in the Ayaya, but I'm going to have to rate it less than the Scrapper. Scrapper was just amazing. Okay, Arcanist. The so Arcanist is very forgettable. Honestly, I was a little disappointed in it. Now, is it in the worst section ever? No, because, you know, you do summon this succubus-looking demon thing, and it's pretty cool. So, I'll rank it over here. But maybe ahead of Deadeye, like this. So, German Dictator painted this, but it was alright. Okay, moving on to Deathblade. So, I actually really like the Deathblade Hyper Awakening. Uh, not the first one. But the second one where she's spamming all her swords and then she poses for one second and then all those swords just come in at once. I think that's pretty cool. But because uh, there are way too many good ones, this one definitely has to go on the bottom of the list of artists Ayaya painted this. Does everyone agree? I don't know. I can already feel the salt. But let's move on to Sharp Shooter. The Sharp Shooter was very cool. That kind of like lights... That you can see. Uh, very, very cool. But other than that, it was pretty mid. So I'm going to rank it mid. Now, let's see here. I'm honestly going to put it like right here. And the reason why is because, yes, it was cool. But because of how mid everything else was, it just balances out to kind of being in the mid of the mid. Do we agree? Mid of mid. All right, moving on to some of the good ones. So Striker, 100 million percent. I loved this class, and this might be biased because I have a Striker, but this made me want to push this character. And if that is not enough to be deserving of the number one spot, I don't know what the heck is, right? It needs to motivate you from... A class that is completely garbage to wanting to push it to tier 4. Which is very expensive, by the way. But because I want that real-life dragon... Not dragon. Real-life tiger-looking thing. I am going to push this in the arc. Our tier 4 arc passives and hyper awakening. Alright. War Dancer. War Dancer was also super, super cool. She summons like two statues that she poses in front of. But I will say it's not as cool as the dragon. It's still cool, but not as cool as the dragon. So it is below Scrapper and above the Spirit Bomb. Next is Bard. 
The Bard had a really, really cool one with the piano. The da -da 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 -da. Like she has her own piano solo. But other than that, you know, it's kind of eh. So I'm going to say it's definitely not mid because it's still really, really cool. And where did you hear something like that? Glavier. So is it better than Glavier or less than Glavier? I'm going to say better than Glavier. Let's just put it here. But it could be also here. I'm going to put it here. All right. Two more left. So we got the Paladin. Paladin, I was very disappointed, especially because they didn't even show me the sword kind of like there glowing in its glory and like pulsating with holiness. You know, that would make it really cool. But based on what I saw, it did not look that way. So with that, you go in the A certain German dictator painted this and you're going all the way in the bottom. You are almost at the I painted this, by the way. So you are very, very close. But you barely scrape by. And finally, we get to Artist. So, of course, this was another really, really good one. Just amazing visually uh, with the flowers and grass that she spawns that looks very similar to Echidna's map. I really enjoyed that. So, it definitely goes, ironically, in the Ayaya painted this. Because it is Ayaya. But where does it go? Hmm. Okay. So if we're going to be real, I'm going to put it ahead of Deathblade, but less than Solfus. Because it, it's okay, but it's not as good as the other ones. But just for the memes, Artist goes number one. Because she's the one that painted her own Hyper Awakening. Right? I mean, do we agree here? So anyway, that is my tier list. Do you guys agree or not? Again, I am ready for any salty comments that come this way. So come at me. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, I hope you guys can subscribe to this channel because I would really appreciate it. Other than that, for my pineapple gang, we haven't used pineapple in a long time. So I think we got some of the suspicion cleared away. So in this video, if you watch till the end, Make sure to type pineapple in your comments. Other than that, thank you all for watching. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.